Yeah, what's up? It's your favorite small barkeep here. And we are drinking every bottle on the bar. Today, we got Stag. favorite small barkeep Tolly and we are gonna get into this bottle here and let you know is this one that you should pick up I think the answer is pretty obvious for most people but hey this is where we're at on the bar so before we get into this go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button you know how much it helps the channel don't forget to check out the patreon link in the video description if you're interested you know we get free samples you get some merch you know you can get some some cool stuff from your favorite small barkeep. So if that's your thing, definitely check it out. Um, all right, so Stag. All right, let's get into the tail of the tape for Stag. So this particular batch I have here is batch 22A. The proof in this one, or the proof on this one, is coming in at 132.2. So obviously the proof varies by batch. Um, usually they do two batches a year. 23 they did three batches so they had an a b and a c batch um so msrp on stag is 70. um i've never seen it at local total wine um so since i started last march it's been almost a year i've never seen it at total wine or on the lottery so i'm not sure if total wine in my area actually gets it um, but you can find it at grocery stores you can find it at um on the military base, usually for around MSRP, if you get lucky. And then most of the liquor stores are charging secondary for the stag. So you're looking at 150 to 250 plus the hell tax. So just based on the MSRP 70, if you found that at 70 in Washington, you're paying about 87 with the hell tax. So 87 bucks, not bad. Um, uh, but these now on the secondary market go for about 150. So um, in some areas I've heard they're as high as 400. So 150 is not too bad. <clears throat> um, I don't think this one is age stated. No, nothing on here. So not sure how old it is. But uh, there you go. Stag 22A. Let's get into it. Prototypical Buffalo Trace, high proof bourbon, nose, a lot of fruit, a lot of sweetness. It's a super cherry, super oak. Um, if those are your jams, then that is a, probably a bottle you'll want to grab. So... You see a nice little bit of heat. Sorry if you can hear some footsteps, but the dogs are out in the hallway running back and forth. So <laughs> just took them on a long walk, hoping they would go lay down, but they're just pacing outside the door. <clears throat> All right, so Stag, is this bottle worth the hype? It's delicious, like. 22A, that is a banger bottle. I'm buying that at MSRP for sure. I've never actually seen it at MSRP, but um, I would, if you have the funds, I would buy it at my local secondary price, which is about 150. So that is a delicious pour, very worth the money. Um, you know, maybe I'll get lucky this year and I'll find a bottle at MSRP. We'll see. But this is a definitely a delicious bottle. I've heard some of the batches in 23 were not the best. So, you know, I haven't tried them yet. I tried the 23C. I thought that was good. But I heard some of the batches were not the best. So, anyways. All right. So, as far as the tater level on this bottle goes, tater level's high. Everyone's always looking for stag. So, um, yeah, three potatoes, tater level, everyone wants a stag. All right, well, as always, 
Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Delicious.